Rockies will stay with Josh Jackson and Stephen Peoples. Hand off to Stephen. Big hole up the middle. He burst across the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Still straight up the middle. There is nothing but sea air in front of him. Touchdown, Virginia Tech Hokies. 87 yards for my Peoples right up the middle. Mary, that ground game still going. LaRusa on the roll on second down. He's pressured, scrambling. LaRusa finds a seam. And LaRusa goes rushing for a first down. Knocked out of bounds near the 50. He's there near the line of scrimmage. LaRusa, another deep shot. And it is caught inside the 20-yard line. Goal comes out, but the catch is made. And LaRusa over the top again, testing those young hokey corners. I expect a pass here with all those big bodies. LaRusa to the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown. Duhorn holds it in. And the Monarchs answer a hokey touchdown with an ODU TD pass of their own. That 300-yard performance a week ago, and they've been doing it. Jackson pulls it again. Down the seam to the end zone. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Hokies back on top. Sean Savoy. The offense, since the touchdown, three possessions. They've only run ten plays. Jeremy Cox goes rolling to near the 40 for the best play for the Monarchs since the touchdown. They only had seven penalties in the first two games of the year, did the Hokies. That's the worst easily. Larusa hit as he throws again. Hold in. Duhorn has it inside the 20-yard line. And the Monarchs take advantage of the Hokies' mistake. Rice from 37, and it is no good. No good, and the Hokie defense holds after all. Those are the little things that lose your ball game. Jackson pumps. Here's a deep shot. Inside of two minutes, it is intercepted. Picked off, and a chance for a run back here. Back to the 20-yard line, Durando Hole, the red shirt freshman from Atlanta, gives the Monarchs the football with a minute 39. Virginia Tech wants the football back. So LaRusso over the middle, wow. wide open, sliding and making a grab is too hard to move the chains and get it across the 40. With a minute five, snapping it from the 43. And LaRusa complete. Fulgham on the edge again. Sheds a defender. And Fulgham takes it inside the 30-yard line. Gets out of bounds. LaRusa fourth and one. He wants to toss it. It's complete inside the 10-yard line. Duhart fighting. They get to the four. Clock's going to clock stop it. temporarily. Got to clock it on, this this. on second and goal. LaRusa to the wow. end. Don't call. Touchdown. Duhart holds it in with seven seconds before the half. A PAT away from tying the Hokies. <laughs> well, Virginia Tech's going to take a knee and head to the half, even at 14. Old Dominion winless on the season. Dominated in their first three games. The Hokies 2-0, dominant in their first two games. Jackson pulls it. Huge hole on the right side. Jackson across the 30-yard line. Across the 35. Time to throw over the middle. It is caught. First down. 340-pounder right there in the middle. Pressure off the edge. The Hokies run right into it. Breaking free. Peoples pushing, stretching. He's down inside the two-yard line. Carter finally makes the stop. Game. Peoples just running through the arm blocks. Touchdown! Peoples right through those blocks again, and it's a touchdown for the Hokies. Virginia Tech back on top. On third down, LaRusso over the middle. It's complete and room to run. Inside the 30-yard line, Daryl Brown. The two downs early in the half. On second and 11, pressure, LaRusa rolling out of the pocket. He wants to toss it still. Now he comes back. It's caught inside the 10. First and goal, Old Dominion. That is the converted quarterback.
They bring in the bigger back, the senior Cox. High snap. Walking into the end zone, Blake LaRosa, touchdown, Old Dominion, and the Monarchs are not going away against 13th ranked Virginia Tech, a PAT away from tying it again. Jackson zips it wide open on a total bust, Hazelton is going to take it all the way, and in one play, touchdown. Hokies, Virginia Tech back on top. It goes 72 yards. Jackson to Damon Hazelton. Hokies in command again. Defense eventually got the stop after an 85-yard game. Second and 10, LaRusa to the air again. Caught, Fulgham holds it in inside the 35. And so they go right back to number seven, Travis Fulgham. Fake it. LaRusa, what's the end zone? Fulgham, touchdown! Old oh, Dominion, Fulgham holds it in, and the Monarchs are a PAT away from tying it again in the fourth. A 25-yard touchdown, LaRusa to Fulgham. LaRusa over 400 passing yards coming off the bench. And he wants more. Duhart calls it in inside the 20. Jonathan Duhart over the shoulder against the freshman Caleb Farley. Larusa hands off. Jeremy Cox, big hole up the middle. Cox goes barreling into the end zone. And with less than 10 minutes to go in Norfolk, Virginia, winless Old Dominion has the lead on 13th ranked Virginia Tech. Trying to rally the Hokies down in the fourth quarter on the road. Willis pulls it. He has the edge. Ryan Willis down the sideline. Finally forced out of bounds. Carter shoves him out. And some life back on the Hokie sideline. Defense something to chew on. Gain of 23 there for Willis. Now he pulls it, fires, complete. Hazelton brings it in. Hazelton nearly takes it to the house. Finally tripped up and he's dropped at the 20. 723 left in the fourth quarter. Willis on fourth and three. He's going to pull it, throw it. End zone! Touchdown, Virginia Tech! On fourth down in the red zone. Chris Cunningham holds it in. Ryan Willis rallies the Hokies in the fourth. 75 yards on only seven plays. A PAT away from being tied again. It's by Old Dominion to even get it to this point. LaRusa pulls it, zips it, has it. Edge again, Fulgham hauls it in. It's another big one on the outside. This one on the sophomore, Ladler. If they're wide open like this, they're gonna run it. And if they're bunched up, they're gonna throw it. Throw into the outside. Brown, the junior, rolling inside the 35-yard line. Those are plays you have to make if you're the Hokies. LaRusa to the goal line. LaRusa in his caught. Touchdown to Hood. Remarkable grab with a Hokie draped all over him. Duhart hauls it in. And stunningly, Old Dominion takes the lead again on number 13, Virginia Tech. On third and 12, Willis steps up, delivers, it's complete. Hazelton has it room to run. First down, Hazelton gets it to the 50. The competition, Ward one of the beneficiaries. Second down, complete on the seam again. Willis delivers a strike. Dalton Keene, the sophomore from Colorado, makes the grab, moves the chains. Moves. Willis, pressure, zips, and complete over the middle. Hazelton couldn't hang on. And with 2.33, the Monarchs get the football back with a touchdown lead. Anyway, still outside of two minutes. Go out of bounds under two. LaRusa's going to take it. He's going to pull it. LaRusa on the roll on third and one. He had the first down, and he's tripped up by Floyd. Clock will stop temporarily to move the chain. Snap it and hit a knee from here. LaRusa, now they're going to hand off, but you just have to take a knee here. Cox goes rolling. He wants the end zone. Cox inside the 10. He stretches, and he ends in an exclamation.
launching point for Old Dominion. Why take a knee when you can celebrate in the end zone? And the Monarchs are a minute 34 away from one of the biggest upsets in college football in years. Eight seconds away from being upset by a winless Old Dominion team. Willis, there's your exclamation point. It is in the books. Old Dominion stuns 13th rank Virginia Tech. Winless in 2018, no more. The biggest win in all Dominion Monarch football history. Blake LaRosa guides ODU to one of the 2018 stunning upsets.